welcome back to the channel guys hey everyone welcome back to walker farm fam if this is your first time here i'm gary and i'm cassie and i'm ransom and ransom is our welcome back to the channel guy if you don't have one of these you need one he does the best welcome back to the channel Kinda around like some people having a hype man yeah are you our hype man he's our hype man with pizza sauce on his face you gonna save that for later <laughs> he came <laughs> over here i'm ready i said for what he goes the video so we came out front we're in front of the house it's a little windy hopefully not too bad because cassie has a new project that she's been waiting on for four years <laughs> so these are spring projects we've been waiting for nicer weather for spring weather it's finally here so let's show you what we got planned right now and again this has been four years in the making we couldn't even do this because we didn't have a sidewalk That's true we just got our sidewalk installed about eight months ago or a year but let's take a look so we're going to start right here where there's really uh, nothing wrong and then we're going to back up and oh it's still pretty good you've got a, a nice little bench over there welcome mat some chairs and you back up a little more oh, oh we've got a sidewalk now that's good but that's where it starts getting to be a problem so we built this sidewalk and we still have the material that was hauled in whenever we built the house this uh compacted rock clay gravel stuff and Cassie has some pots. Where did those come from? Yeah, my mom picked these up for us because we knew we eventually we're doing this. Um, so it's just been a slow process. Um, lots of other things going on. And now's the time. We figured out what rock we wanted. And we can actually get it here. And it's still a little chilly, but it's not 15 degrees like it has been. So these pots are really nice. Uh, we want to make sure that they set good and level right now they're just sitting on top of the uh the ground and the dirt that was there right. so these are going to stay up on the porch well mom put these on e each side of like the walk-up entryway but we wouldn't have to do that i mean i am not a decorator the uh, also the reason why this hasn't been top priority is because i'm not like a plant lady and things like that but it's going to look way better my mom is the plant lady She's awesome with plants, so she's been telling me what I need to put in these things. And odds are, whatever Cassie planted in here would be dead anyway. So ah. that's why ah. we're putting rocks in here. Uh, another reason we're putting rocks is because of termites. Um, I know sometimes people put flower beds and mulch, and the termites eventually get into the house. Well, we're going to do rocks because guess what? Termites can't live in rocks. So to get this project started, I came bearing gifts for Cassie. I went by the Home Depot today and got that. Those are bases for your pots and a big old roll of landscaping fabric. We'll put that down Looks first. Looks like work. Eh, it's just fabric. You can roll out some fabric, right? Yeah. I just wish it wasn't so cold. Oh, there's Sue. Sue, what are you doing on top of my truck? Being nosy? She heard that we were making a video, so she had to come uh, say hi. Hey, Sue. Everybody likes you. They think you're a good cat. Oh, Whoa! You about hurt yourself. You about lost it, man. Better be careful. So we're not really going to get started on this until tomorrow because the rock is getting delivered tomorrow. I just wanted to uh, kind of show you guys what's going on out front so you have an idea of what we're going to be doing. But the load of rocks coming tomorrow, and hopefully we'll have this done in what? How, how many days, Cassie? Two tops. Two days. Now the big thing is, can they dump the rock right there where it goes? Or are they gonna have to dump it and move it? That's the question. Yeah, I hope they can dump it right there, um, and then we can spread it out from there, because that's the biggest hole, and then the rest along the side of the house is just smaller. So. But we're gonna go feed some animals and take care of them. But tomorrow, stay tuned because we're gonna catch up when the rock comes dumping out of that truck and see how it looks. Hopefully, Cassie, Cassie picked the rock, not me. I did. But I also told you, if you get ugly rock, it'll keep your kids from going through them and putting them in their room. So we're planning a road trip this summer to knock out some states. And we've talked to two of the kids a little bit about it. And Ranger said, are we going to South Carolina? I said, I don't think so. Close, but I don't think so. Why? Well, I found some places that got some really cool rocks that I wanted to go see. So that's what he's... That's what he's, he's thinking about. Yep. Ransom. All right, Ransom, you ready to go feed some animals? You want to show them a trick or something first? Yeah. All right, let's show them. Here he comes. Whoa! Like a rocket ship. I'm glad you didn't wreck. 
Hanging that tongue out, you might bite it off if you wreck. All right, so also all that rock is gonna start down there, but it's gonna come all the way down here, and it's gonna come all the way in front of this fence, all the way around here, and uh, yeah, it's gonna end right over here. So the same rock is gonna go all the way around. That should really tie in everything together. And if you're wondering why we have a carport, not a garage, can you guys do this with a garage? Can you just pull in and let your trailer hang out? I guess you could leave the garage door open, but that's one of the reasons we have a uh, carport and not a garage. Um, I forgot I left this back here, but this loaf of bread, let's see, February 19th. I think that was uh, a few days ago, Ransom. You wanna go feed the uh, pig some bread? All right, let's feed it to him. Pork chop. Pork I guess he's just too tired. You too. Oh, big yawn. He just yawned. He's tired. You want some bread? Somebody decided to come out of their house. Oh, he likes that bread. Now just feed him by the hand. You just want to feed him with your hand? Yeah. Both of them. Alright, you gonna feed him by hand, you said? You gotta hand it to him. I, I just wanna lay it on the ground. No, you gotta hand it to him. Can you show me? Bacon. Hey, look what I got you, buddy. You want some you want some bread? He don't want to take it out of my hand. Yeah. Hey, I have trust issues too. Yeah, I'm not going to I wouldn't take I wouldn't take my food from a pig. Yeah. I understand you're not taking it from a human. All right. Well, well we got to go feed some more animals. You ready? Yeah. All right. We had to save some bread for our favorite livestock guardian dog. She loves a slice of bread every night. Oh, yeah. Zena's a good girl. A little treat. Me and Zena both love carbs, don't we, Zena? Here you go. Oops, we dropped it. No, Jojo, I already gave you yours. Here's Zizi. Zena. There you go, girl. All right. I already gave you yours. Did you not eat it? That's all the bread, Ransom. Jojo's mud be so over. People told me that ducks do not need bread. Can you believe that? Growing up, my whole life, I thought ducks needed bread. Because when you go to a park, what do you do? You feed the ducks. What do you feed them? Bread. That's what we did growing up. My childhood was the whole lie, Ransom. Apparently, it's not good for them. So sometimes I wish I had more time to do this. Just sit down for a minute. Pat on Xena. Likes to get up in your business and jump on you a little bit, but hey. She's still kind of a puppy. People um, say that bigger dogs, bigger breeds of dogs like a Anatolian Shepherd, they stay in that puppy stage quite a bit longer. And Xena, if you guys haven't realized, is a pretty big dog. Also, while we're out here, we'll check on the kids. They're not really interested in feed yet. I'd like to get him a creep feeder before too long to uh, make sure they get plenty of nutrients and grain as they begin to grow and really take off but man they are really getting pretty and it's amazing how much they've grown in a short amount of time what do you think what do you think guys now one of our goats Plinko oddly enough is interested in feed so it's a pygmy cross with our Kiko goats and it's a it's a little uh, Plinko is what his name is, but he likes to eat food. He's the only kid right now offering to eat. I say that over here next to our single rooster. There are a couple kids eating from this feed bin. So some of them are starting to eat. So I need to probably research and find me a, uh, a creep feeder for the kids uh, pretty soon. That way they have some more food options other than just mom.
All right, Ranger's up here practicing basketball. Well, I've been out feeding the animals. Oh, gonna have to keep practicing. You want me to raise that goal up? Well, good morning I'm up and at him a little extra early this morning and I thought while I was up I better show you guys the sunrise so that sunrise is absolutely beautiful we're having a good morning, a good start here on Walker Farm. Hey Sue, you got a stretch? Did you have a good sleepy night? Oh, I hope so. And we're gonna get ready for Cassie's delivery truck to come. I say it's Cassie's delivery truck because it's delivering rock for her um, landscaping flower bed, whatever you wanna call it. It's not really a flower bed. I guess we'll have flowers in it in a pot, but that's gonna come also I'm getting a load of rock for out here by the shop. So we've had um, just kind of some burn pile out here. You can see we burn feed sacks and different stuff, but it's kind of a problem when the boys are playing basketball, the basketball can roll into that and it's a nasty mess. So uh, today we're gonna get a load of gravel that is going to go right here over this and that it's just going to keep coming out right here so hopefully one load of gravel will do it uh it'll kind of be a parking spot for say my farm truck if needed which is sitting right out there i don't know yet but that's what's happening today it's going to be a full day of getting rock so hopefully both loads will, were supposed to come early in the morning so we'll see if it happens so somebody finally got out of bed ransom what are you hoping to see this morning He's hoping to see that big dump truck, but the problem is he has to go to school. And I told him I'm going to do my best to get it on video to record it when it comes and dumps out all the gravel, okay? Because you got to go to school because you got to keep learning. I know you're really smart, but you got to get smarter, right? How big do you think that truck's going to be? Ginormous. Ginormous. So hopefully I can uh, video that for Ransom. I know he loves dump trucks. He loves all things gravel. What did you tell me I can't do with that big load of gravel that's going over there? What did you say don't do, Daddy? Don't, don't, don't flatten it. Don't flatten it. So he said don't spread it out because he wants to play in it. He's got big dreams of riding your bicycle on top. So we'll see if that happens. While I'm waiting on that dump truck though, I'm gonna go work on uh, getting some weed barrier or grass barrier down in the front yard. Ransom, you're looking chilly. You gonna go get inside? Yeah. All right. Have a good day at school, okay, bud? Right. And yes, some of you guys have made comments about the fence. Please don't stain it. Please don't stain it. We only want a clear coat. And it's like a bug there. And we don't really plan on staining it at this point. So there's the good news. We'll uh, let it dry out for just a little bit, and then we'll probably put some kind of a clear coat on it and see how that looks. So I've got my giant roll, 225 foot of weed barrier. So I'm gonna get some of this rolled out because if that truck comes, I want it to be ready so it can have a place to uh, put its load right on top. Oh, and Ransom's gonna miss it. I was hoping that truck would come before he left, but unfortunately, School's a priority, so let's do this.
have to interrupt the landscaping for the gravel delivery. I just got a phone call. He said he's almost here. So I got to get this videoed for Ransom because I know he doesn't want to miss it. So the first truck is backing down the driveway and I just got a phone call that we have another truck on the way. So Cassie's gravel is about ready to leave Tulsa. This gravel came local in Pryor, Oklahoma um, from Kemp Queries or Pryor Stone. So if anybody needs gravel locally, it's probably the best place to go. And this is just a pretty easy job for him. I've had to take the trucks behind the shop and stuff and a chance of getting stuck. But today the ground is nice and solid and there shouldn't be any issues with chances of getting stuck or anything like that. So that load of gravel costs two hundred and seven dollars twenty nine cents, fourteen point four tons. So each one of those trucks is a little different. I know my dad used to drive a dump truck, and my uncles they haul around fifteen tons. But everyone's a little different. But that load of gravel will do what I need it to do. I'm basically you can see how the ground right here comes out. I want to keep that um, slope and then slowly go up right here and then level off back here in the back. That way when the boys are playing basketball, they're not gonna turn an ankle or something over here. And it'll give me one more place to park a truck or something. So I, it'll be an extra parking spot. And over here, I was gonna show you real quick while I'm out here. I think we got Miss Poppy, let me see. Poppy, is that you? Yeah, hey Poppy. You getting a little hay, girl? Poppy is a beautiful cow. She's our shortest cow, which I think is more desirable with the Highlands. I don't um, really care one way or the other too much, but she is a good cow. I put them out some hay over here last night. Uh, they've been grazing mostly, so I've just been putting hay over the fence. But Poppy, I'm gonna leave you alone so I can let you eat. I don't wanna bother you. So just as I promised Ransom, I'm not gonna do anything with that pile of gravel. I'm just gonna let it set. He wants to play on it when he gets home. I know he's gonna have a blast, so I'll, uh, I'll just let it set, let him play and do his thing. Now, I gotta get ready for the next load of gravel. All right, so get back to this job while we continue to wait. And I do have stakes that I'm going to stake this down with but I want to get all my fabric rolled out before I start using those stakes so that's what I haven't used them yet go 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 well I have multiple layers of this fabric out Hopefully that'll help some, I don't know for sure. One way to find out. We'll see if grass starts growing up between these rocks. But an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of relief or I don't know what that saying is, but hopefully this will prevent something. I don't know what this truck, how big it's gonna be or anything like that. If it's a big truck like the first one, I'll probably just have to have them dump the load somewhere else and then I'll take my loader on my tractor and move the rock over here. If it's a smaller truck, I thought about having them pull up back to the sidewalk, 
put a sheet of plywood, well, grab the sheet of plywood, put it over the sidewalk and have them dump the load where I could just drag it into the, the biggest area here. So it looks like my load of gravel's coming and it's not a real big truck. Looks like a single axle F550 or something. So I'll talk to him and see what he thinks, see if he can back up here and dump it. But let's, uh, let's see what he thinks. Well, I just made it home from work, and look who I've enlisted. The McLaren River Lodge boys. Look at that. All right, you guys ready to uh, put some of this river rock out? Yep. yep. Ransom, I saw you driving your bicycle on top of it. Yeah. Are you supposed to be doing that? Yeah. What's up? Yeah, we're ready. Whoa. Does that bike got two-wheel drive? And this is what we were afraid of. Ranger's already stole a rock. Show us the rock, Ranger. What is it? Fossil. A, a fossil? Mama said she got ugly rocks so you wouldn't be stealing them. She was wrong, wasn't she? Another, another sorry. one? Sorry. It's all right. All right, let's go get some more tools, boys. Oh, Ransom found the other gravel pile. Hey, are you in heaven right now? Heaven is Hey, what? I'm gonna run up it. All right, let's watch. Ransom's gonna run up it. Whoa! <laughs> All right, y'all loaded up and ready to go? Yeah! So, where's Mama at, guys? She's at a parent-teacher conference meeting. So, Mama has the Mama took the day that parent-teacher conferences are, and decided that she needed to uh, take a break to do that instead of gravel. Can you believe that, Ransom? Yeah. Ransom, you want to pull them? Hold my drink. All right, Ransom's gonna hold Bubba's drink. No, don't drink it. Want to go fast or slow? Fast. Slow down, slow down. Nobody needs to get hurt today. is blowing they say by the weekend that it'll be snowing I guess I'm just tired of the cold that this life is offered but I shouldn't complain there's so many things that I should be thankful for I've been hoping, praying, thinking and saying that I wish things, I wish things just would change, but I know it's me that needs to change. And life's not easy, and it will never be, and the only hope is waiting there for me, waiting there for me to set me free. God will set me free Times get lonely 
But it's times like these I need to see that There's a hand held out for me And it's a strong hand A hand that understands my every need Every blood drop that I bleed And I've been hoping, praying Faking and saying that I wish things I wish things just would change But I know it's me that needs to change Life's not easy And it will never be And the only hope Is waiting there for me Waiting there for me To set me free God will set me free Don't waste knowledge Don't waste time On the things you cannot change but trust the good Lord, He's got a plan to turn your weakness into strength. And I've been hoping, praying, thinking and saying that I wish things, I wish things just would change. But I know it's me that needs to change. Life's not easy, it will never be, and the only hope is waiting there for me Waiting there for me to set me free God will set me free God will set me free Ranger found a strategy that's working for him, but it's getting uh, late in the evening. I'm going to have to go feed animals. We've only been able to work on it about 20 minutes, but Ransom, what do you think? Good. Hey, let's put a hood on, okay? It's starting to get cold, isn't it? Yeah. All right, so here's a little bit of a finished product. It'll be just like this all the way through here, all the way around. So we came on the back porch to get out of the wind for a minute. It is really starting to turn cold in just the last, what, hour? Yep. It's probably dropped 10 degrees. So we're predicted to get some snow tomorrow, guys. Can you believe that? No. Snow. It was like 70 or 80 degrees yesterday, and we're going to get snow. So hopefully it's not too bad, but we want to thank you guys so much for following along as we started the rock project. If you want to see how it ends out, you got to tune in next time. Anything you want to say, boys? Subscribe, hit that bell for notifications, like this video, give it a big thumbs up, and comment down below if you like rocks. Peace. Woo!